Hello and welcome back to our series on Amazon Connect Chat. My name is Amita, I'm with Proficient's Amazon Connect team, and today we'll be demoing an enhanced contact control panel. With this CCP, we've extended the capabilities of the basic soft phone using AI to create an improved agent chat experience. In this demo, we'll imagine we're an IT help desk dealing with some common scenarios that come up during customer chat. And by doing so, we'll show you how we leverage Lex to help identify a customer's intention and guide the agent through the interaction. So let's go over some of the key features of this solution. Well, it can predict what an agent will say based on conversation context. It also surfaces backend information to the agent. And finally, it dynamically adjusts suggested responses based on customer intent. So we have two use cases that we're going to demo. The first shows an existing employee wanting to check the status of an IT support ticket. And the second shows a user requesting an application be installed on their machine. Before we start the demos, let's quickly walk through the user interface of the Enhanced CCP. So this is what it looks like over here. You've got this section where the agent can communicate with the customer. In this case, I am the agent waiting for a customer to chat to me. Then you've got the response section where you'll be able to see basic responses that will pop up based on what the customer says. And finally, we have the agent assistant, which shows screen pops for data pertinent to the conversation. So what I'm going to do is have my colleague Dora play the role of the customer on her computer and then I will be the agent working from this CCP over here and we're going to run through the two use cases now. So let's start with our first demo where we will be looking up a ticket status. So I'm going to accept the incoming chat. And you can see she sent me a message that says hello and automatically in the response column I have all these different things I can say back to her. You'll notice with the first one it's actually greeting her by name and it has my name there as well. So this is an example of the dynamic, uh, this, is a, this is an example of the dynamic feature that we built in. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this one and send it back to her. Okay, great. So she wants to check the status of an existing ticket. And you can see over here when the responses again, Lexus identified the intent and it's saying, great, can I get your ticket number? So I can send that to her. Okay, so she sent me the ticket number. And again, I have a bunch of responses here that I can send back. But the other cool thing that's happened is in the agent assistant, it's uh, surfacing the backend information. So it's actually gone and looked at this number without me having to dig around myself. It's telling me the status is in progress and there's some notes here as well. So I can send back uh, you know, one of these canned responses saying, just give me a few minutes to review this. And I can say, it looks like the ticket is currently in progress according to the status and I'll see what she says back to that. When's it scheduled to be completed? Okay, well, I'm just gonna write back and say, it looks like it will be completed sometime next week. Okay, so now I have a customer who's not very happy. She's saying this is unacceptable. And you can see again, based on the customer sentiment, I have a bunch of these sad face emojis with some responses that are saying, okay, I understand you're frustrated. Uh, let me see what I can do about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the first one that says I can try to escalate the ticket for you. And we'll see what she says back to that. Yes, please escalate. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do is say, I'll request to get this escalated. All right, so she's saying thanks. Okay, and then we can go into the info tab and say, is there anything else I can help you with today? So again, this is just you know leveraging the power of Lex and AI, meaning you don't have to sit and type the kinds of things that you would normally type in a customer agent interaction. I can just click a button and off it goes.
no, that's everything. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my outro tab in responses and I'm going to say thanks for contacting the service desk. Have a great day. Great, so that's uh, case one wrapped up. I'm going to go ahead and clear the contact and we can get started on our next use case, which is a customer wanting to install an application and needs an approval for that. So I'm offline. I'm going to make myself available in order to accept the incoming chat. Okay, go ahead and accept it. You can see the customer's name is Alex. Okay, so Alex has said he doesn't understand why you have to wait 20 minutes to talk to someone. And you can see in the responses column, I've got my sad face emojis again. So it's understanding customer sentiment. And I can go ahead and just send this message right back to them. All right, so Alex needs to download a piece of software. And again, it's asking what application do you want to install? No need to type all of that out. All right, so he said he needs a piece of software called Visio, and you can see over here in the agent assistant window, there's all this information that's been populated about Visio, a description, the website, business justifications, and in the responses, it's saying that this requires approval before it can be installed. And I'm gonna go ahead and send this through, asking him if he's got the manager approval. And this is a good example of why a bot might not necessarily be the best thing to use in this case. It's important to have a human actually manually approving this stuff. Okay, so Alex has said that he has the manager approval and I'm gonna go down to my responses and say, could you please forward it to this email address? No problem, great. Okay, so they've gone ahead and done that. I'm gonna approve them. I'm gonna thank them for doing that. And then I'm also gonna let them know that I've opened a ticket in order to get this installed. And finally, let's check if there's anything else that we can help them with today. I'm going to the info tab. I'm gonna send another one of my canned responses. Nope, that's all, we're done, perfect. So now we just go to the outro tab and I can say thanks for contacting the service desk. Okay, let's review the key benefits of the Enhanced CCP. It provides consistent customer experience in terms of speed, accuracy, and tone. It reduces agent onboarding time as more information is surfaced and suggested to an agent. And finally, it reduces the agent handling time for chat contacts. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it valuable. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.